We're a group of concerned citizens coming together in Fresno, California today because we are sick and tired of the federal government overstepping its boundaries. There is a scandal literally every single day. If it's not the VA with our veterans being killed by long waiting lists, it is the Benghazi situation, our people being left to be murdered and mutilated at our own embassies. We have the gun scandal at the Fast and Furious, and now we have a government-created mass illegal immigration from South America up through Mexico, invading our country, overwhelming our system, and leaving our southern borders completely open to anyone who can come in. Hamas or Al-Qaeda, the people who murdered 3,000 America, Americans in New York and the ones that were fighting across the world to stop from doing their, their jihad activities and killing on all non-Muslims. They do not believe in Christianity. They do not believe in freedom of speech. They, they do not believe in women's rights. We are out here standing against the IRS infringement upon our First Amendment rights and the illegal auditing that they're doing. We are standing against the Obamacare situation, which is a complete lie. It has taken over one-sixth of our economy. It has not saved anybody any money. The $2,500 you were promised, a lie. You cannot keep your doctor. It's a lie. You are not saving money. You are getting charged sometimes triple the amount, and you do not have the access. It is a deliberate ploy to kill off the old and the sick and the disabled, just like they are doing with our VA. They are killing our veterans, the veterans that we have promised to take care of after doing the, the most horrific things that they've had to do. Go to other countries and fight for our freedoms. And they were killed and maimed and, you know, lost their lives and sacrificed their families. And now we are treating them like dirt. It's despicable, it's unconstitutional, and it's absolutely un-American. If people do not step out and step up for their rights, we are going to be the next Nazi Germany. When they came for the Christians, the people on the side said, I'm not a Christian, I'm not going to say anything. When they came for the Jews, they said, I'm not a Jew, I'm not going to step up and do anything. When they came for the gypsies, I'm not a gypsy, I'm not going to do anything. And when they came for them, there was nobody else to stand up. And millions upon millions were killed. Over 20 million Christians, over 6 million Jews, and millions of Russians. If we don't stand up now and fight for our constitutional rights, we will no longer have the Constitution. We will no longer be the greatest country in the entire world. And we were the greatest country in the entire world because of our Constitution that gave everybody the right to live out their dreams. If they worked hard, they could get out of their class. They could become a millionaire like Oprah Winfrey. She's not just a millionaire, she is a billionaire coming from very poor roots in the South. They could become the president like Barack Obama who came from a fatherless home and was left with his grandparents and look where he is. This is the country that allows you to grow out of your class and be whatever you want to be and have that American dream. That is what the dream is. Now we are having an overwhelming breakdown in our system and it is encouraged and brought on by our own federal government at every level. This is the Cloward and Piven movement. Read about it. It's not something I'm making up. Google Agenda 21, where they are taking our land and saying it's for environmental reasons when it is a complete lie. They are shutting us out of our lands. They are wanting us out of our cars. That has to do with high-speed rail and bus rapid transit. Out of the car so that they can dictate where you go, when you go, and how you go. Once again, think Europe. This is how they shipped people off to the Auschwitz camps and murdered them. And also look that up. FEMA is not your friend. FEMA is doing internment camps. They are not for anything but holding people that do not believe in complete government control. They want to take away your guns, and that is one of the main things that makes us such a different country. If we have our guns, the government can't override us. If you go, by, go back and look at history, this is not something I dreamed up. Look at Hitler. Look at Stalin. Look at Mao. Look at Pol Pot. Look at... Look at Cuba. Look at all these places where the government took the gun and then there was mass 
mass murder. There is actually less gun violence in the world now. And if you also look at who's creating all of these mass shootings, whether it's at Fort Hood or at a high school or a college, they are all liberals. Just to be honest, not to be political, but it's the truth. They do not mostly believe in God and they don't believe in behaving correctly and following the Constitution, where most conservative Republicans who are gun owners, who belong to the NRI, believe in honoring that right and behaving properly. Open your eyes, go beyond where you normally get your news information, and find out the truth. If you don't like Hannity, go to Beck. If you don't like Beck, go to O'Reilly. If you don't like any of the men, go to Megyn Kelly. Dredge. Go to the Drudge Report. This is not exactly hidden, but it's not on the mainstream. They are not reporting the truth. They are lying to you. The mainstream media is in cahoots with the liberal agenda. They are dumbing down our children by using Common Core. Look up that information. They're bringing pornography into very low grades. We're talking like third and fourth, fifth graders, teaching them about masturbation, teaching them about pornography. It's one thing if you want to be a high schooler and know that. It's a completely different thing when you don't want your third and fourth grader to know that. You need to wake up. You need to educate yourself. Being uneducated is what gets you in trouble. And that is what the government is illegally doing by inserting themselves into our education system with common core. They may want to make you common. They don't want to make you special. They don't want to make you educated where you actually have a thought in your head and a freedom in your heart. And this is what America is about. Freedom of expression, freedom of creativity, to dream the dream and be what you want to be if you're willing to make the effort. Please come out and stand with us. It's getting close, people. It's getting really close to the end. Go back and look at history. It's repeating itself because people don't know their history. Thank you.